Okay, so this is Captain Sam G, and Steve Samuels has requested me to play Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Oh no, that's that's not that game. This is Prototype. Just the promotional trailer at the beginning of it reminds me a hell of a lot of Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Look at all this power and mayhem. So you play as Alex Mercer, incredibly powerful individual, and you fight against the military might of America and all sorts of monsters and mutants, and you've got quite a few weaponization skills. Picking up cars, taking control of helicopters, launching out missiles, things like that. And I'll be playing this on normal. Seems to be the best difficulty for it. Fairly challenging, but no parts of it will be frustrating. Wish I could actually change the difficulty in the middle of the game, though. There's a couple of tiny little parts I'd like to switch the difficulty to easy for, but that's not an option, so I'll just play the whole thing on normal. So, let's get to it. And as always, if there are any other superhero-type games you'd like to see me play, suggest them, and I may get around to them at some point. And this all starts in the future, so we'll be seeing what's to come and then going back into the past and seeing how everything led to this moment where the city has seen better days. All clear. Everything is just an absolute wreck. Hardly anyone around except for these military guys. My name is Alex Mercer. I'm the reason for all of this. They call me a killer, a monster, a terrorist. I'm all of these things. And you're super powered. So I'm thinking those guys and their little pea shooters aren't going to do much to me. And as you'll be able to see in just a second, Alex Mercer has quite a lot of mass on his side. He weighs quite a bit. Three weeks ago, someone released a lethal virus in Penn Station. I woke up in a morgue. Now I hunt. I kill. I consume. I become. I'm gonna find out who did this to me. And I'm gonna make him pay. Oh, isn't he pretty? So here we get a look at the enemies in this game, except the military guys are also my enemies. So I can just watch them all face off against each other, or I can engage them all myself. Just establishing that we aren't supposed to have a lot of sympathy for these guys. And yeah, there's a lot of decapitation and slicing in this game. Not quite so child friendly as Hulk Ultimate Destruction. If you kill a guy in this, yeah, you've definitely killed them. There's, there's no ifs and or buts, they are just dead. You've murdered the hell out of them. And now we see what... Commanding officer. Sir, he's in Times Square. I'll call for Trent. That won't be necessary. And now we see what sets this game apart. So, I guess we'll be going to Times Square. And I'm thinking these guys go? aren't going to be able to stop me. The so you can punch these guys multiple times or just one big punch and they're done. And as you can see, the entire city is just screwed. 
There's military guys everywhere, there's people running, and there's a bunch of these zombie monsters everywhere as well. The skies have turned orange, there's smoke in the air. But luckily, Alex Mercer is on the case. Even though, you know, all hope is lost and the entire city is screwed already. There's nothing left to save. They took everything from me. They're responsible. And they'll pay. Oh yes, they will. So, hello guys. Yep, that's you murdered. Cut in half, limbs flying everywhere. There's no sort of Hulk Ultimate Destruction thing where bodies are left on the ground and then they just fade away and it's up to you if you've murdered them or if they've just been knocked out or something. No, 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 you're just flat out killing everyone in this. And you know what? I'm going to take this. So that's another thing in this game. Yeah, you play a supremely powerful individual that can destroy everything with his bare hands, but why not pick up a gun or two? Why the hell not? And damn it, Mercer just dropped the gun. Yeah, he's got quite a few different abilities, such as the ability to get shot at point blank with a tank shell and not get killed immediately. So we've got enormous super strength for dealing with tanks and just slamming the hell out of them. And we've got claws for dealing with soldiers and ripping and tearing them apart. Let's take this with me. Why the hell not? And luckily it fades a little bit so I can actually still see where I'm going. Yeah, these guys are a little bit more powerful than the regular zombies that are wandering around. Okay, so we've got claws and we've also got a, just a big sword blade coming out of our arm. Slightly different than claws get to cut people in a different manner. Oh yeah, and speaking of... <laughs> Man, these guys aren't really focusing too much on me. They're more going after the tanks. Hey, come on, I'm trying to fight you. Where are you going to, huh, buddy? Yeah, speaking of people and being able to cut them in half and just treat them as cattle that are dispensable and are just in my way, I'm kind of going to play this as much as I can. Uh in terms of, like, trying to keep my humanity, trying not to kill civilians or even soldiers needlessly. I'm gonna try retaining my humanity for as long as possible before I just decide, ah, screw it, these people don't deserve to live. I'm clearly superior to them, I'm another being entirely. These things are just animals compared to me. More tanks rolling in, and helicopters filling the skies. So yeah, I'll try retaining my humanity for as long as possible. We'll see how long it takes for me to start considering civilians and soldiers to just be a nuisance. And they're just collateral damage, really. And yeah, we can use the amazing kick that basically just allows us to fly. Somehow we can change our momentum and just soar through the air. Or, well, have to not get shot first up. Or we can use pieces of debris, helicopters, cars, anything we want. Except for tanks, they're just a bit too heavy. And to, oh, didn't spot you in the smoke cloud. Well, we can lift up tanks after we destroy them. They're a lot lighter. And luckily the targeting system is a bit liberal, so when 
helicopters are about, they're flying all over the place. Mercer will adjust the trajectory of whatever he's throwing to try and get the thing to hit it, regardless of it flying around all over the place. And hello you, Oop, if I can not get slammed back and forth by these tanks, again and again and again. Oh, right, fine, fine, I was going to leave you alone, but if you're going to be like that, let's destroy you. And now we'll consume the leader of all this, the guy who can call in the strikes. And yeah, we've got some pretty big finishing moves. But that's it. Everything. Oh, there's one lone helicopter slowly falling. But apart from that, that's it. Everything's destroyed. And now we get to meet this shadowy figure. We have less than an hour. What's next? The last person responsible for all of this dies tonight. If we make it out of here, you think you're ready? I was made for this. Prototype. Strong opening. So now I think we're going back to the past, seeing how all this came to be. Eighteen days earlier. Just eighteen days from perfect bliss to city being destroyed. Gentech Morgue, Gentech Building. Hey, I knew this guy. He was Blacklight. Yeah, well, now he's ex-Blacklight. His name is Mercer, Alex J. Next of kin, Mercer Dana A. Is that his wife? Don't know. Do you think this has anything to do with the test subject on 51? I have no idea. And even more, I don't want to know. Just give me the 8-inch blade. Not quite dead yet. Get the fuck out! Get the kill team in here now! So it starts out with us being semi dead and on a slab. Yeah, let's escape before that kill team gets here. Luckily, doesn't seem to be a lot of resistance in the building. Now we just need to figure out what the hell has happened to us. Because coming back from the dead, that's not normal. And here's the kill team. Probably should have obeyed. And yeah, just more reasons to not feel sympathetic for these guys when we murder them. But hey, we have no idea what they know, what they've been instructed to do. So I'm still gonna try not killing a bunch of people I don't absolutely have to until I just get annoyed and think, ah, screw it. Let's murder them all. I need to get the fuck out of here. I can't keep this up forever. First day back from the dead. We've got super jumps. And a hundred bullets to the torso doesn't immediately kill us. Okay, that chopper is opening fire on us, so uh, let's get to running. And as you can see, from the enormous strength held within Alex Mercer's body... ...and... ...the incredible weight of him, the mass that he holds... ...just sprinting causes the concrete below us to get smashed a little bit. So, trying to run away from this damn chopper, it's not making things easy for us. And oh boy, sorry guys, just completely... Smashing your cars up, putting huge dents in them. Sorry about that, buddy. I, I just knocked him to the side, though. I, I, did, I didn't kill him. Might have shattered a shoulder blade, but that's it. That's it. 
And yeah, we can just straight up run up buildings. Leave huge dents in them as well. And, very luckily, no fall damage in this game. What a great way to find out you have super strength. Glad to see he's taking it in stride. Okay, so targeting and throwing. I think we know what to do here. So, target the chopper, and we can switch between the guys rappelling down from it. But I think we should take out the chopper and have the whole thing explode and fall onto them. I can't believe what I just did. So, I'll just leave that pile of corpses there and head on up this building. And anything that gets in my way, I'll immediately just flip over it. Deploy and search patterns for off -grid target. Again, Mercer is taking this extremely well. Because he doesn't need to do a ton of flips over all these different objects, but he just decides to. He wants to look cool. He's not just escaping for his life and scared as hell as to what the hell's going on with him. No, no, no. If he needs to jump an obstacle, he'll do a flip over it. Just for the hell of it. Now I gotta kill them too. And he's not too worried about becoming a murderer. Just, ah, I need to kill these guys too. So, as you saw, even though the chopper was flying around, targeting is a little bit liberal in this game. Mercer automatically tries adjusting for it and throwing where they'll actually be rather than... Ah, damn it, he, he was flying in one direction and he turned around. There we go. This can't be happening. Got slightly smashed up by the chopper. Slammed right into my face. Yeah, just have a little rest. You've earned it. Hostile sighted. Contact imminent. The end. Tango down. Terminate it. Or maybe not. I can take a bit more punishment than just that. Oh, oh, don't worry, buddy. It's, it's just me. It's just your friend. So we can consume any creature. Man, Mercer's really trying to lose his humanity immediately. Doesn't even think of people as people anymore. He's so far above them. They are just creatures to get health from. And health also regenerates if you avoid damage for a short time. So, we have to do this grab and consume him. Right here. And here's another part of consuming people. It's not just for disguises. We take all of their memories. Kiss your mother with that mouth. Saddle up, you got a CP. Move it. So by consuming people. My sister. You know where she is. I know where she is. I need to find her. Dana. By consuming people, do we not only get some disguises, hide away from everyone trying to find us, but we also Dana. get memories. So I let's should be able to tell me something, anything. Take this gun and get us our disguise. So the last person we consume, we can then look as. 
and that that goes for everyone in this game all soldiers all mercs all civilians if we consume them we can become them so rather than just flat out sprinting to Dana's house I'm just gonna have a nice little trot over there just a nice little waltz nothing to see here I'm not some crazed guy with powers that views you all as creatures. No, no, I'm trying to retain my humanity. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Join me next time where we find out more and more about what the hell is going on. And until then, bye for now.